Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So I got a request from someone in a video comment the other day and in my Discord. And if you want to join my Discord, link to do so is in the description to the video. The request was, what sort of blazons should I be focusing on? So I already have a video before on blazons. So if you want to know how to do blazons, watch that video. I'll tell you very, very quickly. Like if you're a low coiner, get 1 to 15. Like one of your blazons, a very important one to you, maybe the siege attack ones. Get them to level 15. Then stop. Get another one to 15. Don't push to 20 because you're better off because at le level 10, where they turn yellow, you get a third attribute, right? You get a third refine. And level 15, you get a fourth. So you're better off getting all the important ones to level 10 and 15. And then... You know, even if you get to 15 and you roll a bad blazon, just keep it rather than restarting. So now let's talk about which ones you should focus on. So I'm going to be focusing this video more on low coiner, free to play type players, which ones you should focus on. And it's going to vary. So for me, honestly, I just, I wanted to get them all to 20. I got every single one to 20. And my goal was I just wanted PVP. I didn't care which ones, as long as it was PvP. It could be two ways. It could be marching, defending, in rally, just like you see there on any of these. I didn't care. There was a couple I did care about that I really wanted attacking. And some of these do have reinforcing, the range attack. It would be ideal to have attacking. But, you know, I just chose not to. And at the time, I didn't have enough blazons. Now I have a ridiculous amount of blazons because of the dragon battle. But... I also feel like one of these days, they're just going to say, surprise, level 25, blazon, something like that. And I'd rather just keep the inventory than, you know, I have 3,000, 4,000 buffs, not 4,000, but like 3,800, 3,900. And adding 12% or 25% isn't going to make too big of a difference. So I'd rather save for a rainy day. Anyways, let's get back to what you guys should do. So... We'll go through this one troop at a time. Let's start with Siege. Um, basically, the lower coiner type of players are going to be full ghoster, right? So if you're a full ghoster, um, I would probably actually consider having reinforcing Siege. So reinforcing stats. Because if you're a full ghoster, you don't need them for defending. You're probably not really going to have an attack siege march unless you are a specialist full ghoster like there are a few you know like vip 19 2 billion 3 billion full ghosters and they make all stars if you're one of them then for sure go with either marching or in rally but for the most part i'm talking about the low coiner full ghoster who's going to sit at buildings they're probably not going to use a siege march you're better off just having them being reinforcing. So if you are going to send some siege, you can help your teammates out. That goes for every type of siege. Okay, that goes for siege defense, siege attack, siege HP. Now, if you're a low coiner who's like of a decent size, like for instance in my alliance, someone who's like 12 billion to 20 billion is a decent size and they could be a low coiner. What I would recommend them to do is in rally stats. So they can join rallies and help out. Or they can go with defensive stats. But they should not go with marching stats. No marching stats for the player who sits in the hive in battlefield and joins rallies. You need either defensive or in rally and it's good to split it up because it gives you more chances for it to be something you would want. And then that's pretty much it for the types of low coiners that you have. Um, you know, so with Siege, that's pretty much covered. Mounted troops. You want to pick the set. Actually, let's go back to Siege for a second for the set, which one you should choose. And you should choose the defensive one, I would say. No matter what you are if you are the uh if you are the in rally person you should definitely go with defensive ones because the attacking ones aren't going to help too much 
And then if you are the full ghoster, so full ghoster, I'm going to change and correct that actually. You should go attacking just in case you do have a march that can attack. And then if you are the T1 trap type who generally has only a few siege, they would also go defensive, but then in rally or reinforcing. So mounted troops, which ones should you go with? So here mounted, go with attacking, all attacking here. Horses are very, very strong on attack. So if you're the full ghoster, you're going to want to pick something like this. You want marching, okay? You want marching, or you might want in rally because you might join a rally once in a while. But you're not going to reinforce with horses too often, so I wouldn't worry about that. If you are the T1 trap, you're going to want to go with defensive horses, right? Because that's kind of your thing. You want to be defen defensive. If you get the two-way, it's okay, but you want defensive. If you are the, you know, 10 to 20 billion, someone who sits in the hive and rallies, you're going to want, you're going to want to have your attacking, your attacks as in rally. You want to join rallies and have it really, really strong attack. And then your defense and HP, you're going to want them to be defensive, okay? Because you do need defensive stats to help on the wall. And defense, a defense, defending defense and defending HP on horses is going to help you more than offensive HP or in rally HP or same thing for defense. Now let's get to range troops. This one should be pretty obvious for everybody. Everyone here is going to want attacking as the set buff. Now the only difference is going to be that if you're not if you're not a full ghoster here, full ghoster could probably go with marching range or two-way range. Um cuz they're, you know, again, when I envision full ghosters, they're at a building, they're trying to help take buildings they're full ghosted they're not joining rallies so they want marching range attack marching range hp marching range defense if you are a t1 trap you should probably go with kind of like anything that's not reinforcing right you can go with in rally because some t1 traps sit in hive and help you could also go with marching you could also go with a little defense because you do need some range troops on defense if you're the 20, 10 to 20 billion in hive rallier, you're going to want to go with in rally buffs. So everything should be this top one right here because your whole game is going to be in rally buffs. Like if you think about it now, the game has changed so much. There's not many people who are sending solo attacks, only the biggest and strongest players. So you want to go with in rally. And then here on ground troops, what you want to look at here is if you're the if you're the full ghoster, go with all marching. Pretty pretty self-explanatory for almost everything. Marching. And the only exception for the full ghoster is siege, because you're probably not gonna have a strong siege march, but you can help out some of your teammates on defense with a siege march. So ground, you should go with full attack if you're a full ghoster marching but you could also go with some reinforcing because there could be your teammates who are getting attacked on they're on the defensive and it's by archers so you could send them some re in some reinforcing ground troops but that goes for all of them hp defense and attack if you're the full ghoster or sorry if you're the t1 trap you should go with defensive ground troops. You're going to need them in your trap and in rally ground because you're going to be joining some. But most T1 traps aren't going to be that strong for defensive troops for, in, for reinforcing support. Plus, you know, you don't want to lock yourself in position as a T1 trap where someone attacks you, cause, not by rally, because you want solos. Now, the in hive person the person who is large enough to join rallies and sit there and play some defense. Once again, you're going to want 
in rally ground, okay? It wouldn't hurt if you had a little bit of defensive ground. So if you had something like this, these three, in rally or ground or defending ground, those ones would be your ideal ones you would get. They would help in mo almost all situations and that you're going to find yourself stuck in. So that goes for defense, attack, and HP. Now, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. That's how I instruct my three low coiner type of players to build their blazons out. And let me know what you guys think about that. Would you do something else? I know some teams just say, you know what? If you're not the top coiner, everything in rally. But those are very strong, high coining teams who win like 90% of the time. And just like two of them, reinforcing a smaller keep is enough to keep them alive. So this is geared towards more of, you know, an, an everyday alliance. Something that you see more often than not. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.